So what are the changes that we're going to see? Um, universal DH, right? That the pitcher is hitting in the, in the yep. National League or, or finally after, you know, since the Revolutionary War, it's finally over, right? Is that what you're <laughs> Is that it, Jason, pretty much? Uh, well, there is a guy named Otani. I'm pretty sure they'll let him hit. <laughs> but, yes. But, right. uh, Rich, hang on to your memories of that Bartolo Colon homer because we just won't see the likes of that again. You know, and that, so that's, like, that saddens me as somebody who loves, like, the fun and the weirdness of the sport. But I get it. Pitchers can't hit. And so all the strategy that people used to dream on and talk about, like, that's been going away anyway in the age of, of – analytics and data and really sophisticated information. So like, it all makes sense from that level. Um, what, what's actually, I think, very impactful that people haven't talked about a lot is rule changes in the future. Yes. Um, you know, there's a provision in there that basically allows them, not this season, but next season, to do some really important stuff, pitch clock. So the game has better rhythm. Don't know exactly how many seconds will be part of that pitch clock mm-hmm. yet, but that's important, don't you think? And yeah. some, I, I got to be honest of, with you, Jason. The pitch clock to me, uh, I, I don't. Again, again, I'm 52. Okay, and the pace doesn't bother me. What bothers me the most is the strike, walk. I mean, the strikeout, base on balls, home run. That's the it just it just makes it so damn boring. Somebody throws 99 million miles an hour that comes in in the fifth and the sixth and the seventh and the eighth and the ninth. So you don't have to have a starting pitcher. There's an opener, not a starter. And nobody gets on base because these guys are so tough to hit. And everybody's positioned and bunched up exactly where you know somebody's going to hit it. And now I'm hearing people saying, well, they should just bunt their way on. And I'm not taking my 11-year-old and 13-year-old kid to Dodger Stadium to watch Max Muncy bunt his way on. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> I, But I'm also not there to see him either strike out, walk, or hit a home run. Um, that's the rule changes I want. That's what yeah, I'm that, looking for. You know? Yeah, the, the, look, I think the game needs more action. Uh, has great athletes. Let them show how athletic right. they are. And the, and the game needs better rhythm. And maybe those things can go hand in hand. Uh, the other big rule that's going to uh, be implemented in 2023 is some sort of limits on shifts. I'm sure that you'll see no more infielders in the outfield. And you'll probably see two infielders on each side of second base. And I, I think that, that's probably not going to have as big an impact as people think, but um, it'll have some, like the average team, you know how many singles every game the average team now hits? Five, five singles a game. It's so there's crazy. never anybody on first base. Right? So you can't have any base stealing. You, give, you, know, you have minimal base running. It, every time the ball is hit, it's an extra base hit. That's the goal now. So maybe this will create more incentive for guys to actually just hit a single. And back to the pitch clock real quickly. There was sure. one tried out, very aggressive pitch clock, 15 seconds in what used to be the California League last year. And it didn't just produce better rhythm. There, were, there was more action. The strikeouts went down. Right? Walks went down. Um, there were more base runners and more to watch. The game was more entertaining. It was fun to watch. Uh, I, it's really encouraging whether we can get to that in the big leagues. I'll believe it when I see it. But I do think this is the beginning of a process that hopefully will make the game more entertaining in its current version. Well, in terms of the shift, Jason, I've been tilting at that windmill from this table and this desk, this microphone for quite some time. I I, I want to make sure that, let's just say, um, when uh, I, I'm watching uh, the Yanks and – from last year, Rizzo, lace one into right field, and I'm a 52-year-old man, and for the first 50 years of my life, I knew that was a base hit that was going to find space in, in right field. And instead, the opposing team's third baseman is positioned out there in short right field, and he just grabs it easily on the line and trots into the dugout to end the rally. And I want to make sure that's over. So when you say nobody in the outfield, are you going to see like another line in the outfield by after uh, – uh, 
you know, beyond which somebody who is booked in the lineup as an infielder is not allowed to tread into that space prior to a pitch? Is that what you're saying? Well, yes. They had this great invention called infield dirt. <laughs> well, uh, so no, so that, that's 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 that will be the point of demarcation. That's where yes. it will be. No, no infielder can set up before the pitch in the outfield. And this was this is a rule that was tried in Double A leagues last year, and the results were really interesting. Um, you know, just having two infielders on each side of second base did not turn that pull it up the middle into a, into a hit because there's still somebody standing right behind second base. Right. But keeping infielders out of the outfield, that worked. The average on line drives that cleared the infield went up by 50%. There were 50% more hits on balls like that. And so to me, that's a step in the right direction. And just in the big picture, um, baseball negotiated – the right to do what the other sports do. If you think the rules aren't working, the sport has the right to change them without negotiating for years and years and years and years with players who are always going to be split, pitchers versus hitters, on everything you propose. And so like just like the NFL looks at the product and says, we want more passing, we want more points, we want to protect quarterbacks. Right. Um, Baseball will be able to do that in the future, starting next year. I think that's really important. So when you say starting next year, it's this new competition committee that gets together. So they're going to have to talk about it and then and then have a vote on it. So 2024 is when we might see this sort of change, is what you're well, saying? The three things that will happen in 2023 that we know are shift, pitch clock, larger bases, which are both a safety thing and actually do promote – base stealing. Then any rule change beyond that, um, it can come out of this competition committee, but the committee is made, well, while it, in, it will include active players and an active umpire, uh, the majority of the members of the committee represent Major League Baseball. And so basically, the sport will finally have the authority to do what it thinks needs to be done. So all this stuff that Theo Epstein's been working on behind the scenes, like he can actually make some of that come to life if they think it's got a chance to work. It's Please tell me the fine print says any active umpire, not Angel Hernandez, though. Please tell me that. <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't seen that. Fine okay, print, I just I'm going to make sure. All right. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 